Hi class, welcome to Advantage. My name is Matt Fisher and I'm your accounting professor. All right, in today's lecture, we're gonna be going over depreciation. If you recall from the previous video that we went over prepaid expenses, those were adjustments that need to be made at the end of the year. Well, depreciation is another form of a prepaid expense. Some assets such as uh, buildings, equipment, cars, trucks, they depreciate in value. Now what I'm trying to say is, these assets, when we purchase them, they're gonna be used for multiple years. All right, so we don't wanna expense the whole asset in the first year if this asset's gonna have value for us for several years. So when we purchase this asset, it will be recorded as an asset, but then we will depreciate it each year to put that expense in each year where it belongs, okay? Let's take a look at an example how this works. As you can see, we purchased equipment and the price is $65,000. The life of this equipment in our example is gonna be five years. And it has a salvage value, which means what it's gonna be worth at the end of its life of $5,000. Now in this first example, we're gonna assume that we purchased this on January 1st, so that we had it for a full year. Okay, under straight line depreciation, which is one of many different types of depreciation methods we can use. And this is the one we're gonna use right now. And in later videos, we'll talk about some of the other methods. But in the straight line depreciation method, it's pretty simple on how we calculate depreciation. We're gonna take the cost of the asset, subtract out, I'm gonna abbreviate here, the salvage value, and then divide it by the life, okay? So when we do that, the cost of this asset was $65,000, the salvage value was 5,000, and the life was five years. So this gives us a depreciation of $12,000 a year, okay? So let's take a look at the journal entry associated with this adjustment. At the end of the year, the journal entry will be a debit to depreciation expense like we always did with prepaid expenses. Now here's the, the, the little difference. We're gonna now credit accumulated depreciation $12,000. Okay, accumulated depreciation is a contra asset account. We'll talk about this a little bit more just a little bit later in this video. But before we move on, now let's take a look at the balance sheet format associated with this. Okay, as you can see on your screen, the balance sheet format will look like that. It will show that the equipment has a value of 65,000 and after one year, the depreciation is 12,000, the depreciation, the accumulated depreciation is $12,000. All right, so the asset always stays at 65,000, this equipment. What's gonna keep changing each year is this accumulated depreciation, okay? So you can see at the end of the first year, the net value of the equipment is then $53,000. All right, so once again, accumulated depreciation is a contra asset account and it goes with the asset. So those two accounts go together. The asset or equipment doesn't change in value, but the accumulated depreciation account keeps changing. So next year, the accumulated depreciation won't be 12,000, it will accumulate. It will now be 24,000 because every year we'll have that same journal entry debit expense 12,000, credit the accumulated depreciation 12,000, okay? So let's look at some additional information about mid-year purchases. Now, we assumed in our first example that we purchased this asset on January 1st. Well, if we had purchased this instead on July 1st, then our journal entry, our adjusting journal entry at the end of the first year would not be for $12,000 because we only have the asset for, for half the year, for six months. So our journal entry would be for half of that amount or $6,000. We would debit depreciation expense, 6,000, and credit accumulated depreciation, $6,000, okay? In the next year, in year two, the journal entry would be for $12,000 because we would have had the asset for the full 12 months, the full year, okay? All right, I hope this has helped you. In our next lecture, we'll be going over another adjustment called unearned revenues, okay? And I hope this has helped you a lot, 
and I hope to see you again very soon. But one quick reminder, these videos are very helpful, but it's also helpful to review them more than once, right? Because you really need to get this, this cemented into your brain how this all works. So oftentimes it's beneficial to look at these videos more than one time. Thank you, class.